just leaving home just got a little hungry uh late tonight i'm trying to see if i can find me something to eat i have kind of had a taste for breakfast and i kind of lost the taste i don't know I i'll figure out something on my way um here it's pretty cold tonight i think it's about 30 34 degrees here in richmond pretty chilly following by gps to one of my favorite breakfast spots you'll see here soon um tonight is actually the night of thanksgiving and i ate all my food but i still find myself hungry hungry for something else so that's why i'm out here in the cold looking for something to eat oh the light's green let's go let's get the heck out of here i'm starving Gals, it's 314? That's the lowest I've seen in a while. That one's what, 309? Oh my god. The competition, it's serious out here. I may have to stop and get gas. Seriously. Ah, uh, looks like I'm not the only one out here on Thanksgiving. These roads are pretty busy for it to be a holiday where you stick at home. Do I want Wendy's though? I kinda don't think I want Wendy's. Last time I had Wendy's, my stomach was cramping up, and for some reason, like, this quick, fast food stuff, I can't do it. It doesn't taste that great. Little Caesars as well. It's so greasy. I, I just, I can't do it. There's something about it. My stomach just yells, no, don't get it. And Roller Dome. I used to go there all the time, and I hated it every single time. All right, so here's the breakfast joint I was talking about. Waffle House. I strongly dislike Waffle House, but it's the only place open on Thanksgiving. So I decided to stop by and see if I can get me something to eat. And well, I saw one of my friends from high school there. Uh, also a pretty old friend there as well. And I decided I don't really feel like being bothered tonight. So I'm going to go somewhere else. That's literally what made me turn around. And Captain D's, I would never eat that. Never in a million years ever eat that got sick from it once i'll never do it again thought i should stop for gas checked my gas meter down there then i saw the price and i was like hell no i'm not getting that gas i just saw one for 309 i'll go back there not doing that place not in a million years uh so uh, i kind of changed my taste buds here and we're gonna go for something else i don't know if you guys ever heard of this place before but it's called america's best wings it's it's decent the last time i had it it's been uh, almost an entire year since I've had uh, America's Best Wings, so uh, I thought I'd give it another shot and see if the food's gotten any better. Um, I think I'm preparing myself for a letdown, but we'll see. So I'll go on inside, and I'll go ahead and I go and place my order and everything, and everything went pretty smoothly. It was just me and one other person in there. It was pretty empty, as it should be on a Thanksgiving, but I'm out here in the wee nights of the in the wee, whatever they say, the wee, wee nights of the hour. I don't know. This is a weird saying. I got my drink and everything. I sat down. And this place, it just, it, it had like an eerie vibe to it, to be honest with you. Like the walls were bare. They had some, a few things up. And then they had just, just one painting or one like art on the wall. And it was really, really weird. And they had the TV, like this nature channel that was playing. Um... I kept eyeing the lemonade over there. I, I was like, should I get some of that? It looked really sweet, like really tart. Um, I wound up not getting any of that because I didn't want to kill myself tonight. So I said, no, not today, Satan. Um, that lady got her food and I was the only one in there. And like I said, I had an eerie vibe to the entire place. So I was just ready to get the heck out of there. I wanted to go home. Something about that place, I don't know. Got my food about 10 minutes later, head out the door, back into the car, and yeah. It's about time to go home, shake that weird feeling off I just had from that place, and I found a fortune cookie as well. I have this uh, fortune cookie. I've had it in my car for a very long time. It's not from a so much authentic Chinese place. It's just Panda Express. Nothing exciting. I, uh, I still want to take a look at this though. You guys, does anyone ever still do Panda Express at all? Okay, I guess I can try the cookie here. Mm -mm. 
Uh -uh. Cardboard. 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 All right. Fortune. For success today, look first to yourself. Okay, well, there's a mirror. I look successful. That's what I get out of this. Thank you, fortune cookie. It's literally telling me that I look successful. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully so. Let's go home. See you at home.